Or you can just watch the YouTube videos, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'd like you to do um, for these two problems, what they're asking is estimate what these are going to be in radians. Estimate what these two angles are. So before we can even talk about radians, um, I want to first go over how we're going to determine what, how we're going to measure our angles or how we're going to look at this. First of all, whenever we're going counterclockwise, that is what we're going to call the positive direction. Counterclockwise positive direction. So you might want to write that down to remember it because you're probably going to forget it. All right, so on your test, you're going to make sure whenever you go in the opposite direction or counterclockwise, that's positive. So whenever we're going clockwise, that was called in the negative direction. All right? Then, now, also with your guys' vocabulary words, you need to also make sure you guys remember that this is what we're going to call our initial sign. All right? Unless otherwise stated, it's always going to be our initial side when we're referring to angles. So unless I tell you something else, this is your initial side. And it's like your beginning. That's where you start. Remember when we did like a coordinate grid, you always start at the origin, right? The origin of life, that's like the beginning. I initially, I initially did this, it's like where you start, initial, right? Then you have your terminal side. Okay, and terminally ill, right? Terminal on an airport. The end of that, okay? So the terminal side is where you're gonna end. And your terminal side is obviously usually always gonna change your initial, though, is usually always going to be you know, the same. Because like I said, we're almost always going to use this as your initial sign. All right? So now, let's talk about radians. So if I have a circle, and I know it's a beautiful circle. It's not even connected. <laughs> Close <laughs> All right, so what I want to do, guys, and like Amara was talking about with pi, um, how we found out pi, how you guys can approximate pi. We took the diameter and we wrapped it around the circle. Some of you might have done it, some of you did. It's okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do measure radians. Now, radians is gonna be a measurement for us, all right? Just like degrees, all right? But radians, what they're gonna do is we're gonna take the distance r. So here to here is my what we'll call my radius. Correct? Correct. And if I was going to take this and, like I said, kind of make it wet like a wet noodle and wrap it around my circle, I want to see how far would this radius take me. Well, this radius would roughly take me about here, I would say. So I could say the distance from here to here is what we call like one radian. Right? If you get approximate, I'm just totally like estimating how close it would be. But it's roughly going to take you to that point. So therefore, about two radians would take you to here, and three radians. So we say this point would be two radians, and from here to here would be about three radians, right? Now obviously, three radians, you guys notice there's a little bit of gap here, and that's our point where pi comes in. Because, remember our pi is 3.14159 dot dot dot. So what you notice, Katie, is the radians goes one, two, three, and then it almost goes all the way around, but not exactly, okay? So, because remember, remember when I talked about when we guys did that unit circle? We said this was pi, right? All the way around is pi, or 180 degrees. But now we're dealing with radians. We're not gonna be talking about degrees. So to get to here, it would just be pi, or three radians plus point thing. So therefore, I'll get to four, would probably be about here, five, probably about here, and then six, it's probably be right there. So right here we could say this distance would be 4r, 5r, or 6r, right? Yeah. All right, now I'm going to do the next one a little bit quicker. Wow, that circle's horrible, isn't it? I swear, one time I was teaching geometry, I made a perfect circle. I swear. I could have taken it out and measured it. It was perfect. <laughs> um, so now, if you guys notice, these are all positive numbers, right? And why were they positive? Because I was doing this going this direction, right? That was one radian. So therefore, we can do the exact same thing the other way. That's why your phone's turned off. 
One radian, two radian, three radians. So this would be negative <laughs> one radians, negative two radians, negative three radians, right? The only reason why it's negative, it's not a value is negative, but it's in the negative direction. Does that make sense? Yes. So this would be, um, let's say, what did I do? Four. <laughs> It's a lot block. Um, <laughs> yeah. That's what you're talking about. Yep, exactly right. She's sleeping your phone. Okay, does everybody see that though? Because it's really kind of important for you guys to see that. So now what they're saying is, what they want us to do for these two sides is say, hey, what's the estimate? How many radians are each one of these? Well, let's look at it. So if we go from here to here, right? Kind of initialize this, take this and put this on this unit circle. So if I was going to go in the positive direction, how many radians would it be? Well, it looks like this is this line right here, right? So it just says estimate it to the one half. So is this exactly two radians? No. Is that angle at two radians? No. It's not at three radians, right? So you could estimate it, like I said, it's probably around close to 2.5 radians. Obviously, it's not exactly in half. But right now, all they want us to do is just estimate to the closest one half radian, right? So that's closest probably to 2.5 radians. Does that make sense? If you guys look at it, to here. Then let's look at it now this way. And I think my four is a little bit off. But if you guys look at it here, now if I go in the negative direction, in the negative direction, what is this closest to? Negative four. Negative four radians. So this one would be a negative four radians. Do you guys see how the negative and the positive direction change what it is? It's yeah. still doing with radians, the measurement still remains the same, but the direction or the negative sign is going to change everything. Yes? Why did you put a pi behind that one for R behind that one? I'm sorry? Why did you put a pi behind that one for R behind that one? Oh, it's not R. It's not pi. Thank you. There is no pi. We're not talking about pi's right now. Just talking about radians. Does that make sense? Any other questions? So the negative sign is going to depict which area or which way you direction you go. All right? 